happy holidays, guys. I think there is so much tray past hors d'oeuvres happening, a lot of champagne. There's a lot going on that we needed to do a video about my top three tips for keeping it tight and right during the holidays. I'm Lauren Everts Bostick. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed because we're doing weekly videos. I also have a blog called The Skinny Confidential and a podcast, so be sure to check it out. My first tip for keeping it tight during the holiday season has all to do with the pre-party. So I picked this tip up from Tanya of The F Factor. It's a diet that she does that has a lot of fiber in it. And she told me to always make sure that you eat something before you go to a party. A lot of people won't eat all day or they'll barely eat anything and then they'll go to a party and just stuff their face. Tanya said it's like a battle. You're going to war. I mean, you're not really going to war, but you're going to war with the tray pass hors d'oeuvres. So technically, I don't know. Anyway, she said that you should fill up on fiber and protein, which is why I've been loving GG crackers lately. Um, they're just so filling and you just add eggs or you can add avocado, raw almond butter, you can make a GG pizza, whatever you want. I would do like three of those with protein on top or maybe do some eggs, get a protein shaken, something. Be Well by Kelly also recommends that you do a huge almond butter protein shake before you go to a party just to keep you full so you're not absolutely famished when you get there. I think this tip is definitely number one for me. My second tip has to do with booze because let's face it, people are drinking during the holidays. There's a lot going on, which by the way, make sure you take an Uber. But if you're gonna have wine or champagne, here's what I do. So I go to the party and I start with a glass of wine or champagne, usually champagne. I add ice to my champagne, which I know you're not supposed to do, but like, let me live. I like to add ice to it because it gives me a little water. And then I have a big glass of water after I'm finished with the champagne. Then I switch it up. I know you're not supposed to switch your alcohols, but again, I'm just gonna do me here. I like to switch it to Tito's vodka with three lemons. If they don't have Tito's, that's okay. I guess, what else would I do? Maybe a Belvedere. Um, I just really, really like Tito's. I'll mix it with Perrier or sparkling water and add three lemons to it, sometimes four and drink that the rest of the night. So what that does is I don't get all the sugar from the champagne, but I still was able to enjoy my champagne, the first glass with the ice. So what that does is it allows me to enjoy the champagne. I have my glass, I have a little ice in it, then I have my water and then I switch it to vodka soda. And I just think I drink vodka soda slower. You know, champagne, I'm like, no, not really, but you know, champagne's great. Um, I just drink it slower, I drink it with a straw and there's no sugar in it. So it's very much ideal. My third tip for staying tight and right during the holidays has to do with Google Calendar. I use Google Calendar to schedule everything. My calendar looks like rainbow bright, projectile vomited all over it. It's all different colors. And during the holidays, I make sure that every single day of the week I've scheduled a workout. Typically, I only get in five days, but at least it's there on the schedule. I think you get so busy and so overwhelmed during the holidays. There's so much going on. There's gifts, there's you know all this end of year shit that you have to do. But scheduling a workout is just gonna give you clarity. You're gonna keep your wellness on track. You're gonna get your sweat in. And I just feel like it's so needed during the holidays. I would go batshit crazy if I didn't have a workout. So schedule your workouts in your Google Calendar. I make mine yellow so it's right in my face and actually stick to it. This is gonna ensure you to have a very, very good holiday season where you don't gain the holiday 15. So these three tips are gonna ensure that you don't turn into the cookie monster during the holidays. They've helped me forever. I've been practicing them for the last five years. I'm telling you, they work. Switch to vodka soda, let me know how it goes, and make sure you're subscribed below because we're doing weekly videos on the Skinny Confidential channel. Last Christmas.